Welcome back to Icy Donuts. It's Halloween, so that means there's a Halloween themed cake. So I'm going to make in Jack the Pumpkin King. Um, I've just taken a piece of MDF board and a PVC pipe, which is going to act as his collar and neck as a cake stand. I've taken some sponge cake that I previously baked and just placed that on top of the stand um, before buttercream and jamming it. And this just gives me a cleaner work surface to deal with so I can cut it to the shape of his face. Once I'm happy with how the cake looks, I went ahead and buttercreamed and iced it and uh, put it in the fridge just to harden up. Whilst my cake is chilling in the fridge, I go ahead and cover the bottom of the cake stand in icing. This helps incorporate the cake stand into the cake. I'm also going to use this time to make the little bat motif that goes on this collar. Now that the cake's had time to chill, I start working out of the detail that will go underneath the icing to so make the features more prominent around the eye socket, nose and the brow. With the details in place, I then use a sheet of black icing to cover the front of the skull. With the icing on, I just spend a bit of time working the black icing into the detail, pushing it into the eye sockets, into the nose, and making sure that the detail comes through. Once I'm happy with the black icing, I go ahead and put the outer layer of white icing on the top. With the white icing securely in place and the details coming through, I'm now using a scalpel blade to cut away uh, the face underneath. This is the eye socket, the nose, and then I go on to cut away the mouth. Now that I'm happy with the face, I use a black edible dust just to add some shadowing to the uh, detail on his face uh, in, the, in his groove marks on his forehead and then the eyes. And the only thing left to do is to find a bit of detail, the white markings on his collar, and make sure the bat's in its rightful place. 